we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it away from the fog of the controversy. The most important thing that has happened so far, the Supreme Court has upheld the individual mandate, essentially affirming that President Obama's health care law is indeed constitutional. And the Congress did not exceed its authority when it essentially ordered every American to buy health insurance. What's up, guys? Now that uh, Obamacare is passed, let's go and take a look and see what is in Obamacare. Uh, if you go to, uh, and I'll put all the links in the box, if you go to HR 3962, uh, this is a bill that was written back in uh, 2009, October 29, 2009. If you go down to page, uh, I think maybe 1501, uh, this is the FDA administration. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, it talks about National Medical Device Registry. And if you read down, it talks about implementing a, uh, and it talks about class three medical devices and it's like uh, pacemakers and stuff. But this right here, it says, and this is a very open-ended bill. It means they can do whatever they want and have vague language. But it says, uh, may include, as the secretary uh, determines, who is Obama's puppet, Pelosi, uh, as she deems appropriate, uh, specifies in regulation a class two device that is life-supporting or life-sustaining. What is a class two device? Well, if you go to the FDA, a class two special controls guidance document, implantable radio frequency, fre frequency transponder, system for patent identification and health information. And if you go back here, it's all about data registry, medical device registry, health information, implantable, if you go over here to FDA, class two, implantable radio frequency, frequency transponder system for, for patient identification and health information for medical device registry. And also over here, it talks about it, uh, it goes through, uh, it talks about the class two, the device is intended to enable access to secure patient identification and corresponding health information in humans, implantable. What are they talking about? They're talking about the microchip. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. And it goes back to this is a very open-ended uh, bill and it says uh, that the secretary may include if she determines appropriate which which she is Obama's puppet a class 2 device that is life supporting now they tried to pass a, a bill like this a couple years ago and I think uh, the whistleblowers came out so they came out and uh, redacted part of a bill and they've come out with this very vague one. Now, what was in the other bill? Uh, this was HR 3200. Same uh, wording, a class two device that is implantable. This was in their thing. Life supporting, life sustaining. The same thing is what they put here, but they've worded it uh, vague. Class two device, they've taken out implantable that is life supporting and life sustaining. They, even though it's vague, it still means the same thing as a class two device that is implantable. This was in their actual bill. And when, and when you go back, what is implantable? It goes back to the chip. And I think one reason why they took uh, the thing out of the bill and has made it vague is because a couple years ago, uh, Ron Paul came out and he said very deep within over a thousand pages of this massive U.S. health care bill, uh, in a non-discussed section titled uh, C11, Section 2521, this is HR 3200, National Medical Device Registry, in which states its purpose as, he quotes that part of the law, and then goes on to say, in a real world speak, according to this report, this new law, when finally implemented, provides the framework for making the, the United States the first nation in the world 
to require each and every one of its citizens to have implanted in them a radio frequency identification microchip for the purpose of controlling who is or isn't allowed medical care in their country. They have been talking about the, uh, the microchip for a while and it's getting closer and closer to them wanting to implement it and now that Obamacare has passed they wanted to establish a nat uh, national medical device registry uh, as the secretary uh, deems appropriate a class 2 device that is life supporting class 2 device class 2 device implantable class 2 device this is on uh, like page 1505 or 1506 or 8 but uh, the purpose of this is to collect data uh, from the device and it deals with uh, uh, claims data, patient survey data, and you go down to uh, electronic health records. But this right here, any other data deemed appropriate by the secretary, what it means is it starts out as medical. You get the chip put in your arm. It's a, it's a little uh, computer. It can, they can do whatever they want and, 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 and program it to do different stuff. But this right here is a smoking gun. Uh, we only want, you know, your data. That's all we want. Just your health records. That's all we want. And then, bam, any other data deemed appropriate by the secretary. What if that data is your bank account? Just something to think about. Any other data deemed appropriate by the secretary. Then if you go over here. This is some more interesting wording. There, there's a lot. There's like over 1,500 pages or, or almost 2,000. But here's another one. Medical device surveillance efforts. That's just something to think about. Uh, surveillance. I love that term. And uh, they've already been deemed that these uh, chips have GPSs in them. And all they want to do is hook you up to the network. That's all they want to do is hook you up to the system, to the B system. It starts out as medical, and then we know where it goes from here. And if you go over here, there's another one. Enable for real time. The determination of an individual's financial responsibility at the point of service. Uh, this is uh, some crazy wording. Uh, you can figure out what you want to think about it, but enable the real time information the determination of an individual's financial responsibility at the point of service. And if you go over here, the effective date when this will be established, and it says no later than 36 months after the date of the enactment of this act. Now, I don't know much about bills and stuff, so this could either mean, I've seen a lot of people talk about March 2013. Um, if you look at the beginning of this bill, it was uh, October 2009, which would leave it October of 2012. Or it could be uh, 36 months from the day it was passed, which would make it uh, June 2015. I don't know, but it says uh, that they have no later than 36 months to enact all this stuff. And some people will go to Snopes and, and look, uh, look this up and... They'll come off and it's like Snopes say, oh, this is all fake. Uh, now, uh, HR 3200 was shot down. It was, that's the one that had all the, had this wording in it. But it was shot down. And, but the Snopes hadn't updated either. But uh, Snopes isn't that reliable because Snopes says that uh, Obama's birth certificate is real. And we all know that is the fakest thing I've ever seen in my life. And, um. Uh, I don't get much into people's dreams on YouTube. I know I got a lot of videos about dreams. You know, you, you take a dream with a grain of salt until it happens. Uh, but this uh, woman, Karen Sarah, she put out a video a couple months ago that I've never gotten out of my mind. And basically, God gave her a dream about the tribulation uh, starts around 2015 when they start implementing the chip. And it's got GPS in it. It's a, it's a wild dream. But I just click on this link right here to take you to her uh dream you can watch it with a grain of salt but i've never forgot it but with everything going on this video i made a while back obama leopard of daniel uh i didn't put any of my opinions in there i just put everything that obama said and done uh it really makes you think is he the leopard the more and more stuff that goes on it really makes you think is he the leopard mentioned in daniel i mean passing obamacare class two devices i mean the chips i mean 
so much stuff is happening biblically. I, I, I just I can't even wrap my mind around everything that's going on right now. But uh, they they just make this this the new marvel. Oh, I want a chip. Please give me a chip. Yeah, you get a chip and your life is over. To think something so small can connect you to everything that matters. When your life and all you love are on the line. HealthLink is always with you when every second counts in the emergency room, providing immediate access to your medical records. Because Bob has trouble remembering all his medications. Because I'm in love with my kids' kids. Because my car lost control while driving. Because now I'm looking out for both of us. Because I have diabetes, but it doesn't have me. Because I spend my life in the ER trying to save yours.